Good morning, kiddos. Coach Troy here, and today we're going to be hunting down a killer with Death of the Dive Bar. Now, in the To Hunt a Killer series, you take on the role of private investigators looking into a murder. In this iteration, Death at the Dive Bar, uh, the owner of a small town bar has turned up dead. The local authorities have ruled it an accident, but an employee and friend of the deceased is not quite convinced. It's going to be up to you to compile the evidence and find out which suspect has the motive, the means, and the opportunity to pull out that murder. <laughs> now, the components for this game, they are a little bit sparse, uh, but they are nice, all right? So I'm going to open this up and show you just a few things, all right? This is just what you see when you open the box anyway, so there shouldn't really be any spoilers in here. All right, let's uh, take a quick little look, shall we? All right, now looking in here, you're gonna have the photographs, right? Those are those are kind of standard of these, but they're nice, actual photographs. Uh, you're gonna have your dossier of all the different suspects, complete with pictures. Uh, not photographs on here, but they're just printed on the paper, but they're still nice, they still function. Uh, you're gonna actually have physical items from the bar, yo. You got, you got a menu here, uh, drink coaster and uh, matchbox set, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what else we got? Oh, my! One of my favorites always in this games. I don't know why I like them so much. Are the the newspaper clippings, right? So you got newspaper clippings that look real. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but one big thing that's a little different is gonna be this bag here that you uh, have to find a code to unlock. It's gonna give you more stuff inside, more goodies inside this bag if you can crack the code. I, I, outside of that, there's just lots of different uh, paper clues, so notes, uh, records, some other pictures and whatnot. So that, that's mostly what it's going to be, so pretty typical for this kind of game, but uh, just a couple different things, which I think are kind of neat. <laughs> now a lot of the different uh, deducing can be done by looking at these different paper clues and finding items like alibis and... Uh, motives, um, possible different storylines that are connecting. And then you're going to have these uh, paths that you have to follow, paths of clues that are going to give you these bigger aha moments as you piece everything together. Um, so that's kind of cool. So you're going to actually have, you're going to be able to have a group of people that can go and take different items and start working on it and figuring things out and getting ideas, but it's going to come back together. And it's, it's, and I think the story that unfolds as you do that is pretty good and it's it's you know it can be done in about an hour one to two hours tops i would say two hours though it is a little on the easier side so people who are more experienced can probably finish it even quicker <laughs> now this game is a little on the easier side like i said earlier um there's lots of different clues and information that's going to kind of tell you the same thing so it's not you know there's different ways to figure out alibis and motives and means that may have happened. So uh, it's not, you know, it's not so strict and you have to find that little sliver of evidence. So as you say, there, there's multiple ways to get uh, to where you're going. Uh, and it points you in the right direction. Now there is some, a couple things in here a little different, like it has one of those cipher uh, puzzles that you have to decode which is pretty cool, you know, a little different. A lot of times they don't have that in this kind of game. I think they had it in the Sherlock Holmes game once, but not typical of, uh, of these crime-solving games. Uh, and, but the, that's probably the hardest part of it because my brain doesn't work that way and it takes me a while to get through that. So at least for me that is. But the game does do a good job of giving you a little tutorial on how to solve that type of puzzle. So going into it, you're going to have an idea of how to be able to do that. Uh, and also, if you do get stuck, there is online support for the game. So if you get, you know, the website does it in a way that just doesn't give you the answer. It just kind of pushes you along and helps you figure that out. <laughs> now, I feel this will be a great introduction to this style of game. Right? Uh, so it's not as intimidating as like a Sherlock Holmes consulting detective or as brain burning as some of those cold case uh, games. Uh, and I do like how they're going for something slightly different with it. Like it's got uh, that tactile feel in those puzzles that's going to feel more like like an escape room. So it's going to have that, that kind of vibe to it with, uh, with decoding the cipher and then um, that, that case that you have to open up. 
Uh, so it's got that feel to it. So it's like kind of com kind of combining them a little bit together. And it's still definitely a crime solving one, but it's got those elements. So if you like uh, the escape room games, you know, like you've got your unlocked or your uh, escape room the game, whatever. There's a there's a thousand of them. If you like those and you want to give this a shot, this might be a great way to transfer into this style of deduction game. So overall, I like this style of game, and this one is no exception. Right? It tells a good story, and the ending I must say is pretty satisfying. Uh, there are a few storylines that get a little strange in there, but nothing that's going to derail it at all. Uh, while the ease of the game might turn off some hardcore players um, I found it kind of a nice change of pace all right and I really liked how they added those uh, escape room elements into it they fit in and it felt natural it wasn't like they were trying to force it so that was that was really well done so yeah I would definitely recommend this game for beginners novices anyone who wants a more chill experience or anyone who likes escape room games although I will say that veteran detectives they may want to look elsewhere for a challenge all right, this is uh, Coach Troy, proven of this game, and I'll check you next time.